If you have any experience living or traveling around Thailand, you will have come across the term holiday girlfriend. But there is a lot more to this than meets the eye. We will dive into why this is exploding in popularity, the money the ladies make, and we will find out what is really going on behind closed doors. So, in places like Pattaya and Bangkok, renting a girlfriend in Thailand is pretty common. It's a win-win situation for both parties involved. The gentleman gets the ideal companion, someone who looks stunning, carries herself like a true lady, and offers various services. And for the lady, she earns a good income for her time. When we started looking into this topic, we were genuinely surprised. To be honest, I initially thought this video would be about backpackers or retirees finding short-term companions during their trips. You know, the usual stuff. But what we discovered was quite unexpected. It turns out that the holiday girlfriend experience is also very popular with high society girls. Nevertheless, we think it's important to understand the different types of ladies you will meet and those who are offering this service. Among the vibrant nightlife, you'll undoubtedly encounter the bar girls who are masters of their trade. These ladies have a clever way of persuading you to support their expenses. For these ladies, it's all about business. Bar girls have captured the hearts of some Westerners over the years, and sadly, scams are common. It's best to tread carefully if you enjoy the bar scene. Now, let's talk about a different type altogether, the gold diggers. These folks are the life of the party, hitting the clubs every night in their flashy, expensive attire, enhanced with gadgets and accessories. They're drawn to Western men, especially those who can treat them to lavish dinners and expensive gifts. You will find a lot of these ladies on dating apps looking for sugar daddies. These individuals have a taste for the finer things in life, and they know how to make their desires known. Often, gentlemen do not pay them directly but indirectly with gifts, experiences, and so on. Well-versed in Western culture and accustomed to the company of Western men, these ladies bring adventure and fun to the table. Many are proficient in English, pursuing careers, and even attending university. They offer the girlfriend experience to increase their income or make some extra cash while being a student. Services are offered on social media and dating apps. Now let's delve into the world of the elite girls. Born into wealth and privilege, you won't spot them on the streets in regular bars or even on dating apps. These ladies move in circles of high reputation, visiting prestigious locations. They belong to a different level of society, where abundance is the norm. If you're aiming to meet one of these ladies, you'll need to navigate a world of exclusivity that's a far cry from the usual dating scene. While it's essential to note that not everyone neatly fits into these categories, what we've discovered is that a significant majority tend to fall into one of these four groups. Interestingly, many of these ladies may not explicitly market themselves as offering this service. Instead, they often present themselves as seeking a sugar daddy, offering to be your tour guide or something along those lines. Now that we've explored the various types of ladies, it's time to turn our attention to the customers. Who are the individuals purchasing these services? And what kind of price tags are associated with the experience? We were keen to gain insights from a woman who actively provides these services. After some extensive searching, we connected with a professional in Bangkok who operates within the high society circle. While she preferred not to appear on camera, here's what she had to say. I've been doing this for 2 years and even though it's not normal to some people, I think it's fun. 
my customer are all different. Some are older men who just want fun, but some are lonely. I work for free night last week with a Japanese business man. He is here on a business trip. But one of my customers last year, he had a boyfriend, but his mom came over and he had to pretend I was his girlfriend. So customers can be just about anyone. I can't really blame the ladies for offering this service. In reality, most wages in Thailand range between $300 to $500, and she can make a lot more doing this kind of job. But how much money does this cost a gentleman who wishes to use this service? Prices range a lot, depending on the type of lady in the city. For those who visit Pattaya, prices will be much lower than in Bangkok, but at the same time, you will find fewer high society girls and more bar girls. Normally in the country, for 24 hours or a long time as they call it, it will cost around 2,500 in local currency plus a bar fee which would total around 3,000 baht or more. But this does change. If you are looking for a high society girl, prices vary, but from what we have been told, Prices start around 15000 So where do gentlemen go in order to find the holiday girlfriend experience? Most of the time, dating apps offer the best options. Thai Friendly is especially popular with ladies looking to sell their services. But apps like Tinder and Facebook pages are also popular options. Some also prefer picking up ladies on the street. The third option is not as popular but can work, and that is nightclubs. So, with everything spoken about today, is it a good idea? I always find that if you are unsure if you should do something or not, the answer is probably not to. But if you reach this far into the video and think it's something you would like to do, then it's cool. Check out this comment on Reddit. This guy wishes the girlfriend experience was in his area. To be honest, I can really see the appeal. The lady is offering part-time companionship. She dresses like a real lady. There is no drama, no arguments, no jealousy. You get a local tour guide as she knows the city. She will often take care of you and generally treat you like her boyfriend. This includes a movie night. And naturally, I'm sure other services take place too. This other guy on Reddit had an idea. Pay for the services day by day. Many Thai girls in this line of work have a unique talent for creating deep connections with their companions. Some lead their dates to believe in the possibility of a future relationship and even marriage. During this time, they might request a monthly allowance akin to a sugar baby arrangement while maintaining multiple relationships with partners who support them financially. Naturally, to her, it's just business. So it's best to remember this and to never send any money beforehand. 